Hello everyone, welcome again to our YouTube channel. My name is Daniel and in this video I want us to discuss on photo requirements in the DV Lottery application. As you are all aware, DV Lottery applications are starting soon. Actually we have like a week from now before the DV Lottery 2026 applications start. So from our side, we want to take this opportunity before the application starts to prepare you on how you can have a good photo uh, or digital image that you will be using in your DV Lottery application. Because as you all know is that the photo is one of the most important thing and requirements and actually is the one that puts so many people off when it comes to DV lottery uh, selections. The selection starts uh, with the application. So that's why I want us to get this correct from the word go before you go to the application process. So the first thing that you need to know is that the photo that is going to be used it should be a colored uh, photo uh, taken on a white uh, background with the head of the photo or image uh, being between 50% to 69% of the image is total height from the bottom of the chin, the top of the head. That section is very crucial. The height between the head to the bottom of the chin should take 50 to 59% of the total height of that image that you are going to use as your photo in the DV Lottery application. So when you'll be using the application, it will tell you maybe the head is below 50% or the height of the head is above 69%. So you make sure you do some uh, calculations uh, when you will be adjusting the photo for it to fit and be accepted in the DV Lottery application. Also, the photo must be have been taken within three to six months for it to reflect your current appearance. This one is very important also because digital photos or images can easily be uh, known when they were taken. Because they are digital, they can easily get the property of the picture and the no exact time when it was taken. So that's why they normally say use a picture or a photo that was taken uh, three to six months before the time of DV Lottery application. The digital photo used in the previous DV Lottery applications should not be used. Nowadays, they have applications which can tell when the photo was taken and they can also tell if some of these photos they have been used elsewhere. So that's why you should not use a photo that was used in the previous DV Lottery applications. And then the photo image must be in the format we call as JPEG. This format is easily uploaded in the system unlike these other formats. So make sure that whoever is taking your photo sends you in the form of what we have said JPEG, not uh, in BDF form such that you get ample time to upload to the uh, DV Lottery site. The image photo that is going to be used 
should be of the size below 240 kilobytes. It should be exactly 240 kilobytes or below. Anything above is not going to be accepted in the system. So make sure that you have the photo of the right size that will be easily be uploaded to the system. The other thing is that if the image or photo is big, <coughs> uh, you can compress it, but do not over compress that photo in order for it to fit the maximum file size. <coughs> if you over compress this photo, it will not be accepted again. So make sure that if you have to compress it, compress it in a manner that is acceptable. The compression ratio should be less than or equal to a ratio of 20 is to 1. Anything above 20 is to 1, it will be over compressed in that. And the image dimension uh, should be between uh, uh, 600 to 600 pixels and of course it should be uh, a 2 by 2 inch meaning the length uh, is 2 inch and the width it is 2 inch hence it's a square image measuring 2 inch by 2 inch and over 600 by 600 pixels also the image must be taken in full face view directly facing the camera with a neutral facial expression and both eyes open the photos should be taken in clothing that you normally wear on your daily basis. It's not a must that you go for the new clothes or you go for the expensive clothes. You can use any other clothes that you have in your wardrobe and it makes you uh, succeed in the divinity. You can use a suit you can use a t-shirt, you can use a vest, and you will be able to get to whatever that you uh, wanted as in the DVD application is concerned. Uh, uniforms, uh, like the military uniforms, uh, pilot uniforms, uh, doctors or nurse uniform, school uniforms, should not be worn when taking the DVD digital photos. So avoid all those uniforms and if you have to use another uniform, make sure that you cover uh, that uniform from being exposed. Also, do not wear a hat or head coverings uh, that cover the hair or your hairline unless one daily for religious purposes. There are those ones who put on uh, uh, the religious gears covering their head, but when you be taking the divinatory photos, make sure that these religious gears do not cover your face. Uh, let your face be seen and exposed such that your true image can be seen at any given time and if you can make sure that your facial expression is neutral in all time your face must be visible and the head covering must not cast any shadow on your face and the most important thing that you need to do is do not smile, do not put in facial impression as you take this photo. And at all times, 
make sure that your two ears are seen if possible and if some of them some i know some of you have those uh, ears that are so uh, difficult for them to be seen in a photo both of them and i know in most cases the people at the studio will put some something behind your ears like a tissue paper and something like that to make them rise so that you can be able uh, to take a photo and they are seen and if that one has to be uh, made make sure that uh, the whatever that you put behind your ears uh, are not going to be seen so you can put something and make sure that it's hidden its purpose is just to push your ears up so that they can be seen in that video so uh, in that photo so make sure that the uh, whatever behind it is not seen